Hi guys! Today's video are 5 things you should never do to your guinea pigs. Don't chase your guinea pig. Sometimes it's necessary to take your guinea pig out of the cage for a health check, a vet visit or to cut their nails. If your guinea pig is shy, not tame yet or simply being a prey animal, it might not like being picked up and will run away if you try to do so. When that happens, do not chase your piggy as it causes a lot of stress for you as well and it will make your guinea pig's heart race like crazy. A simple trick to avoid chasing is to put a tunnel or another fleece item in the cage and to wait for your guinea pig to explore it. Most guinea pigs cannot resist a tunnel or a change in setup, especially if you put it right in front of their nose. Once your piggy is inside the tunnel, you can safely pick it up without causing stress for anyone. Signs of illness If you suspect your guinea pig might be sick or shows signs of an illness, don't wait for it to get worse but see a vet immediately. Guinea pigs are good at hiding their illness and once you notice something might be wrong, it might already be super urgent. The biggest indicator for an illness is a change in behavior. For example, a guinea pig that always runs to you for food suddenly stops or doesn't seem excited for food. Or a guinea pig that is always really really active suddenly starts sleeping a lot. This last one could also be a sign of old age, but if your guinea pig is younger than let's say 5, it's not. Bad treats. If a guinea pig treat looks really yummy to you, chances are really high that it's unhealthy. Most colorful mixed bags of treats are full of sugar, honey or fat. All things guinea pigs shouldn't really have. These colorful mixes are produced because they should appeal to humans and look like a yummy cereal-like snack. So avoid feeding these. A very yummy and healthy treat is simply small pieces of vegetable, especially the ones your guinea pig likes the best. A lone guinea pig. Guinea pigs need a companion and a human cannot replace a guinea pig friend. Other rodents cannot either as they don't speak the same language as a guinea pig. So it's crucial for guinea pigs to live with a companion or in a herd. They rely on their cage mates for protection and it's not very nice to make them do without this. Cage size. Cage size can be a super confusing topic when you first get your guinea pigs. Cages sold in a pet shop often advertise something completely different than websites online. Keeping guinea pigs in a tiny cage is a very common first time owner mistake. While guinea pigs might not be the largest pets, they do need lots of space to run around and explore, so a cage size minimum would be around 11 square feet. Bigger is of course even better, so an ideal size would be around 16 to 21 square feet. A guinea pig enclosure should also be well ventilated, meaning no aquarium type cages or plastic bins, and the floor shouldn't be wired. These were a few don'ts of guinea pig care. If you have more, comment them down below. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you guys next time. Bye!